Hey, I've got an idea. Let's make a movie, okay, Christy? Okay. Christy that Harris. Good. Christy Harris is a producer with the organization called Shared Card Films, yes. and you actually made the decision that is um, a rare thing indeed these days. You decided to make the film in Arizona. Yes. Why right. is it that it is so unusual anymore? This used to be a film capital. Yes, it did. Well, we used to have a, a film tax credits, and that's something I'd love to see come back, uh, which incentivizes films like my film to come here and bring all of our resources, and most importantly, build our economy and set the infrastructure. And I think that's been missing for a while. So hopefully, we're going to start bringing that back. That's my mission. OK, and it was because of the incentives that people from Hollywood and other areas, filmmakers, came here Obviously, physically, it's a great place. Yes. Terrific weather, all Incredible. of the other advantages. But there are a lot of folks who are watching right now saying, what's in it for me, though, uh, if they get tax breaks and I don't? Well, there's so much in it, and that's kind of what we're talking about today. The economics, we are considered a low-budget film in the eyes of Hollywood. And with our low-budget film, we were able to bring 1,107 room nights to Crown Plaza Hotel in Chandler mm. at the San Marcos Hotel during the summertime. We don't have a lot of tourism, as you know, as we all know, in the summertime. Uh, because it is hot, we were able to walk in this kind of fun little tidbit. We were able to walk into a store, Saba's, in Chandler and outfit our celebrities, our uh, Lance Hendrickson and Branscombe Richmond. They were able to actually costume these people and have revenue uh, brought to their, their uh, store. So things like that are tremendous. We had Grazi Restaurant that is a wonderful local place for anybody in Scottsdale. We were able to film there. We were able to bring our celebrities, our crew, eat there. The benefits to our state and what it generates is just tremendous and it just continues to um, just it cont continues to increase. We were able to utilize our colleges. And as it and is right now, the film industry uh, that doesn't come here goes to New Mexico. Yes, it does. Goes to Georgia, goes to Ohio, goes to so many other places that don't have the vistas yes. that we have, nor do they have the weather that we do. What about your film right now? Our film right now, we finished filming, and so now we're in editing. And we had some of the most glorious locations, and you'll see it in probably our teaser that What's we What's it about? It is about um, a young kid who has an eating disorder called pica, which is a very real eating disorder. It's uh, kids who eat paper, eat dirt, and he's teased um, unmercilessly. And so he ends up getting this um, faith healer that comes to him, and he's miraculously healed. So it's kind of a super um, natural thriller, and it is just outstanding. And going to be in theaters when? Uh, next year. Because you filmed it here in Arizona using Arizona people. Yes. And you left some money behind. And I thank you for yes. that. Christy Harris, let's be watching for the name of the movie? The Unhealer. Oh, The Unhealer. Yes. Let's be watching for Sandy right now, who's going to be telling you about the rest of the Daily Mix that's coming up.